Hey guys, today I'm here with this makeup tutorial for Pop Color. Today's video is a really, 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 really special video because it's a collaboration with Katie from Lust Lux. She is so gorgeous and talented and funny and just a goddess at makeup. Like honestly, she is so amazing at what she does. I love watching her videos. I watch all of her Snapchats, well, nearly all of them. Might skip through a few. Shh, don't tell her that. <laughs> I love her sense of humor. And if you're not subscribed to her, you must be living under a rock because at this point, she's really close to 1 million subscribers. She's at 990,000 today. Anyway, we have gone with the theme of pop of color, whether it's liner or I've done the lower lash line. I will have her video and channel listed down below so don't forget to go and check it out and tell her that I sent you. But now let's get into the makeup tutorial. Just started by priming my face. I've used the Face of Australia High Definition Primer. Uh, this one is one of the silicone based ones. I use this a lot in my videos. I've just started from the middle of my face and worked the product out to the rest of my face. I'm using the MAC A Soft Ochre Paint Pot today. I used this for the first time last weekend and it's as good as everyone says it is. I'm just setting my eyelids with some translucent powder. I'm taking Mug Creme Brulee. And I'm just taking that above the crease. And just in windscreen wiper motions and circular motions, taking that all across there. I'm going to use some sticky tape today on the corner of my eye, like so. Then I'm going to go in with Frappe, another Makeup Geek eyeshadow, and just go over the top of that one. And I'm using Cocoa Bear just to deepen that up a little bit on the outer part. I'm just going to place it on the front part as well. So leaving a little gap on the eyelid. Next up I'm taking Mocha. I'm just going to place that on the very outer corner there. And again a little bit on the inner corner there. Now for the exciting part. I didn't know whether to use tan or copper sparkle pigment by MAC. And my cat chose copper sparkle so I'm going to go with it. Just going to put this down here. I'm going to pat that on. Okay, so over the top of that because it's not really, mm, it's a bit, mm. I'm using the MAC Mixing Medium with the Copper Sparkle and I'm going to go over the top of it. And go back in with Mocha. I'm using my Australis Black Eyeliner. For gel liner, I'm using my Model Co. Gel Liner today. Foundation, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Nude Foundation in 303 True Nude. And then just going over with my Damp Beauty Blender. I love this foundation mainly because it doesn't go streaky on my nose. So many foundations go so so patchy and streaky on my nose, but this one doesn't. Using the Neutrogena, this is the Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfector today. Uh, it doesn't have like amazing coverage, but it really brightens up the area. And I filmed a few videos with it, and I actually really like how my makeup turns out when I use it. So I'm just placing it underneath my eyes, down my nose, my chin, and forehead. And then I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. It's 
just gonna go in with another little bit. Now I'm taking some translucent powder. This one's by Face of Australia. And I'm just gonna dab that on there. It like soaks up so quickly. Then I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in Darkest Brown to set the rest of my face, just while that bakes a little bit. And then I'm just gonna fluff all that powder away. I'm going to bronze today with the Models Prefer Mineralize Powder. Uh, this one is in Radiant Bronze. So just around the edges of my face, uh, down my cheekbones, jawline. You should so see my cat right now. So Coco's helping me film today, aren't you? My little helper sitting on my lap. Today I'm using MAC Sculpt from my little blush palette. And I'm using that to contour. You see this MUA blush in Lolly today. It's a really nice peachy neutral color. I don't know if I'll like this enough, but I've got this NYX Illuminator in Ritualistic. As usual, I'm using my Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade in Blonde. Brows did. Now I look more human. Oh, where did I put that milk? So now I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm going to run it along my water, my lower lash line, sorry. And this will just make it the color that I'm going to put on top of it more bright and bold. Okay, I'm going to clean up the edges with a Q-tip. All I can see is white. My poor lashes. They're so white. I have my MAC palette of eyeshadows and I have never used this one. It's my colorful one. And I'm gonna use this color here called Aquadisiac. I love it. I'm also taking it like right in that inner corner there. And just underneath that wing, just really, really slightly. And I'm going in with my CoverGirl Lash Blast Length in Water Resistant. And do not be fooled, this is not waterproof. It isn't even really that water resistant, but it just doesn't come down here on me. My inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm using Nylon by MAC. I'm using these Lash Lorette eyelashes by Squido. I think that's how you say it, a Squido. A band and a half on them. I'm using my Maybelline Nude Lip Liner in 20 Nude. <laughs> Just place the liner on the outer edges and then I'm going in with MAC Hue. These eyelashes are intense. That actually was pretty easy to put on. Just going back in with some black eyeliner to touch up my liner. And then I need to curl my hair. I think the look just needs some gloss to finish it off. So I'm going to use this Maybelline lip gloss. And this one's in Luminous Latte.
So that is the end of my makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun creating this. I think the colors work really, really well together, better than I kind of thought they would. I do eventually want to try it out with the tan pigment as well because I think that would look stunning. Anyway, that's all from me. Don't forget to check out Katie's video and channel and subscribe to her and subscribe to me if you're new. And I will see you in a few days. Bye. Actually, can we take can we take mine and then you just fill it up and I'll give you the money? Okay, I'm in um, Target and here's the L'Oreal Infallible Matte. And they have a really